Balance of Payments by Camilla Chadha. In this video, I plan to explain what is meant by the balance of payments, how the balance of payments is organized, and the different components of the balance of payments, and particularly the current account. What is the balance of payments? The balance of payments is a record of the financial transactions between one country and the rest of the world over a period of one year. An inflow of foreign currencies counted as positive in the in these records, and an outflow of financial of foreign currency is counted as a negative. How is the balance of payments set out? Well, it's divided into three sections: the current account, the capital account, and the financial account. Each section can be in a deficit or a surplus, but the overall balance of payments, all three sections together, must, must balance. It cannot be in a deficit or a surplus. The whole point of being a balance of payments is that it balances out. The current account, as seen in Unit 2, essentially the current account is exports minus imports. But there are several types of exports and imports. Hence, there are four sections, which all added together give you the total for the current account. The, this current account becomes a problem when, it, when the surplus or um, deficit hits 5% of GDP. In 2010, the UK had a deficit of 9.6 billion. The first two components of the current account are trade in goods and a trade in services. Trade in goods are tangible, visible goods. For example, we import apparel and then we export pharmaceuticals. A trade in services could be we import cleaning services, but we export financial services. The third component of the current account is net investment income. Essentially, it is made up of IPD, interest, profits and dividends. So if you earn interest, profits and dividends from foreign assets such as foreign shares, then that is an export because you're bringing money into the country. And if foreign um, people earn interest, uh, profit or dividends on UK assets, then they essentially take away money. So that becomes an import. So the last component of the current account is net international transfers. Now these are money transfers between countries. For example, we pay fees um, to the IMF and EU for being part of them. We might pay aid and disaster. These are imports because money is going out. Then we might have exports such as the EU giving subsidies to the UK or if we have a disaster in another country giving us disaster relief. As mentioned before, the current account, capital account and financial account can be in a deficit or a surplus. For there to be a deficit in the current account, there's got to be more imports than exports. And essentially this is a leakage because it is a minus uh, figure on aggregate demand and it pushes aggregate demand down. Or we could have a surplus where exports are greater than imports and this is an injection, this is an extra addition to the circular flow of income and this is a positive number and hence pushes our good demand up. The capital account. Essentially what the capital account is concerned with, it is any transactions to do with transfer of fixed assets such as homes. So for example, we have um, increasing immigration in this country, the UK. So as more people come in to the country, they own more assets. So there's, we are essentially having an export there because more foreign people are owning British fixed assets. The last component of the balance of payments is a financial account. The financial account is concerned with any transactions in financial assets. So for example, hot money, speculative money flowing into the country and out, as well as long term assets such as foreign direct investment, which flows into the country and our investment, which flows into other countries. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been um, helpful. Please visit my blog.